You're watching Ruroni K95's anime review on Summer Wars. Hi Ruronis, this is your pal Ruroni K95 here. Today's anime review, we get to cover an anime movie that is released in 2009 for today's anime review is Summer Wars. Summer Wars is a 2009 Japanese anime science fiction film directed by Mamoru Hosoda, produced by Madhouse and distributed by Warner Brothers Pictures as well. Yeah. The film's voice cast includes Ryunusuke Kamiki, Nanami Sakuraba, Mitsuki Tanimura, and Sumiko Fuji, and Ayumu Saito. The film tells the story of Kenji Koiso, a timid 11th grade math genius who was taken to Ueda by 12th grade student Natsuki Shinohara to celebrate her great-grandmother's 90th birthday. However, he is falsely implicated in the hacking of the virtual world by sadistic artificial intelligence named Love Machine. Kenji must repair the damage done and find a way to stop the rogue computer program from causing any further chaos. So let's review this anime movie, Summer Wars. Let's begin. Kenji Koiso is a young student at, Ko at Kuwanji High School with a gift uh, for mathematics and part-time moderator in a massive computer simulated virtual reality world Oz along with his friend Takashi Sakuma. One day, Kenji is invited by fellow Kuwanji student Natsuki Shinohara to participate her in her great-grandmother Sake Jinochi's 90th birthday. Yeah. After traveling to Sake, Sake's at estate in Ueda, Natsuki introduces Kenji as her fiancé to Sake. Sake? Whatever you want to pronounce it. Uh, surprising them both, Kenji meets several of the Natsuki's relatives and discovers that Jinoichi's de are de descendants of the samurai vassal of the Takeda clan, Takeda clan, who challenged the Tokugawa clan in, in 1615. He was also meets Wabisuki Jinoichi, Natsuki's half-great uncle and computer expert who has been living in the United States since stealing the family fortune ten years ago as well. Kenji receives an email with a mathematical code and cracks it. However, his actions inadvertently activate Love Machine, a virtual intelligence device uses Kenji's account and avatar to hack the infrastructure with the inscription Kenji had inadvertently cracked, caused, causing like the widespread damage. Kenji Sakuma and Natsuki's cousin, Kazuma Ikizawa, confront Love Machine. Love Machine defeats Kazuma's avatar, King Kazuma, and continues to absorb accounts in the Oz mainframe. Yeah. Which, due to many accounts being connected to devices for public infrastructure, allows Love Machine to cause catastrophic traffic congestion and disabling of electrical devices. Two of Sake's relatives, Rika and Shota Jinoichi, discover Kenji's involvement. Shota arrests Kenji, but the congestion causes Natsuki to return them to the estate. Sake calls associates important to positions in Japanese positions in the Japanese society and relatives who work in the emergency services, encouraging them to work their hardest to reduce chaos and damage. Yep. Comparing the situation to war, Kenji is able to return control of the mainframe to the moderators and engineers while Sakuma discovers that Kenji actually misspelled one part of the code. Wabisuki reveals that he invented the program and sold it to the United States Armed Forces for a test run and expanding it to the into a virtual intelligence. The family angrily drives Wabisuki from the East State. Sake later encourages Kenji to take care of Natsuki during a koi koi match. The next morning comes and Sake is discovered dead by Kenji and the Jinoichis. Her youngest son, Manasu Mansaku, explains that she had agnia and that Love Machine had deactivated her heart, modded her. Yeah. 
which is something terrible happened. Kenji, Sakuma, and most of the Jinoichis form a plan to defeat the love machine with a supercomputer using ice blocks as a coolant. While Natsuki and the others prepare a funeral for Sake, Kenji, along with Sakuma and the others, capture Love Machine, but Shota carries the ice blocks to Sake's body, causing the supercomputer to overheat. Love Machine and absorbs King Kazuma and redirects the Awa Arawashi asteroid probe in onto a collision course with a nuclear power plant. Meanwhile, Natsuki discovers a will left by Sake and reunites with Kenji and the rest of the group. Yep. Natsuki has Wabs Wabi Sauki return home before the family reads Sake K's well will asking them to bring Wabisuki back to their lives, realizing that the love machine sees everything as a game. Kenji has the Jinoichi's confront love machine to play Koi Koi in Oz's cons casino world, wagering their accounts in desperate attempt to stop love machine. Natsuki wins several rounds but gets distracted and nearly loses her winnings. However, Oz users worldwide into enter their own accounts into a wager on Natsuki's side, which also prompts the Guardian programs of Oz, the Blue and Red Whales, known as John and Yoko, to upgrade Natsuki's account. Natsuki wagers the 150 million avatars given to her in a single hand and wins. You guessed it. Critically injuring Love Machine's ability to interfere into the physical world of st in stripping it down to Kenji's original account and the Oz account for the space probe prompting the artificial intelligence to redirect Arawashi towards Sake's east state. Kenji repeatedly attempts to break into the probe's GPS's while Wabisuki disables Love Machine's defenses. After being revived and assisted by several of the Jinoichi family's avatars, King Kazuma destroys Love Machine, to Kenji and filiarates the GPS to redirect the Arawashi away from the E-State. Destroying the East, the e State's entrance and causing a geyser to erupt. In the aftermath, the Jinoichi family celebrating their victory as well as Saike's birthday. As Natsuki kiss Kenji after they confess their love to each other as well. You guessed it, if you will. So that's how uh, something we, we see going on in the anime movie Summer Wars as well. Yep. So, th this anime movie yeah, was directed by Momoru Hasoda after he d produced The Girl Who Leapt Through Time. After producing The Girl Who Leapt Through Time, Madhouse was asked to produce something new. Hoso Mamoru Hasoda and writer Satoko Okudera created a story about a social network and strangers' connection with a strange family, the real-life city of Ueda. Was chosen as the setting for Summer Wars as part of the territory once governed by the Sanada clan and was close to Hasoda's birthplace in Toyama, Hosoda used the clan as the basis for the Junoichi family after visiting his then fiance's home in Ueda. Production of Summer Wars commenced in 2006. Art director Yuiji Takeshige incorporated Japanese houses into his background designs. Hosoda also insisted they, that 80 family members were to be included as main characters. The project was first announced at the 2008 Tokyo International Anime Fair, and the first trailer of the film was released in April 2009. Audience interest was fueled primarily through the world of mouth and internet publicity as well. And there's also the manga adaptation as well, from what I heard as well. Yeah. A manga adaptation of the film was written by Ikura Sugimoto and began serialization in July 2009 as well. Summer Wars was premiered in Japan on August 1st, 2009. It grossed over US $1 million in its opening weekend in 127 theaters and ranked number 7 at the box office as well. Yep. <clears throat> the film was received by critics and the general audience and was financially successful, earning $18 million worldwide. It won several awards, such as the 2010 Jet 
Pan Academy a prize a, a, for animation of the year. The 2010 International Film Festival's uh, Audience Award for Best Animated Feature and was nominated for the 2009 Golden Leopard Award at the Locarno International Film Festival for this particular anime movie. Like Because of how they made particularly Summer Wars... I mean, most of the film was set in the real-life city of Ueda. Ueda was chosen as the primary setting for the film because it is located in a territory formerly governed by the prominent Sanada clan upon which the Junichi family is based. Ueda is co uh, also close to Hasoda's birthplace in Toyama. Hasoda's inspiration for the name of the social network OZ came from the large supermarket that he once visited while st still working for Toei Animation at the time. Although nothing similarities between Oz and Second Life, Hasoda also cited the Japanese social networking mix website Mixi as a primary influence because of his experiences for the color design and design of Oz. He cited Nintendo games as inspiration. That is the thing of how this anime movie was particularly in had inspirations from any places in Tokyo as, as well as the color and the designs have influenced Nintendo games especially for what we see the influence vibe particularly what we see in the anime movie Summer Wars especially if you ever watch the anime m movie Summer Wars as well. Yeah. Summer Wars was premiered in Japan on August 1st, 2009. The film was distributed in South Korea by CJ Entertainment and what, what it premiered August 12th. Cafe Organization released Summer Wars in Singapore on February 25th, 2010. Mighty Media released the film in Taiwan in June 4th, 2010. The film was released by EuroZoom in France in June 9th, 2010. Summer Wars had its North American premiere on February 26, 2010 as the opening night event of the annual New York International Children's Film Festival with director Mamoru Hosoda in attendance. Hosoda answered audience questions following the film's screening through the interpreter as well. I mean, you could imagine particularly as well. I mean, Mark Schilling of the Japan Times rated the film 5 out of 5 stars and observed that Summer Wars may contain familiar elements, beginning with its bashful Moonstuck hero, but it combines them in a fresh, contemporary, dazzling, and imaginative. He also said Ed, that the film provides a social commentary on a di the differences between an analog world and the realm of digital devices as well. Hosoda, the future... Schilling titled his article, The Future of King of Japanese Animation May Be With Us. Hosoda steps out of Miyazaki's shadow with a dazzling new film, which he has praised for how th this anime has its popularity, a lot, which is how who, who you expect from the reviewers. Like, Twitching Film published a review by Julian Rizot, who also so references Miyazaki. He, noting that the following, the girl who left through time, cries out, went out immediately hailing to him, as particularly for, of how they explain about the movie, as well. Yep, because this is particularly how when I think about the anime movie Summer Wars, I didn't know that this anime movie was directed by Mamoru Hosoda because I had looked back on my previous anime review on Wolf Children, which has got to me as well. So that's going to be it for my anime review on Summer Wars for today's anime review. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's my thoughts on this. When I first watched Summer Wars, I didn't know that this movie was directed by Mamoru Hosoda because he was the director who worked on particularly Wolf Children and many of his works as well. I mean, come to think of it, if you haven't seen Summer Wars, I highly recommend you to check this out on on if you want to pick it up on DVD or Blu-ray. And also, this anime was featured on Anime Abandoned, which Bennett the Sage reviewed this. Hope subscribe for content. My anime pilot, like the description below. You can share this video on your Twitter, Facebook. If you have a Twitter, Facebook account, and all of social media, be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking on the like button on this video. Feel free to leave it in the comments comment section. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, RoonyK95. Feel free to join the channel, especially the channel. Hit the notifications bell and keep it on talking for this anime review. We've got another anime review coming up next year. Stay tuned for my next anime review. I got another Dragon Ball related anime for tomorrow's anime review on Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods. Stay tuned for my next anime review on Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods because you won't want to miss another anime review.